If you're still animating counters digit for digit, you're wasting time. By the end of this video, my step-by-step -step tips will save you hours of time and provide you with the ability to create beautiful looking counters. Also, I will show you how to save them as a preset so you can use them in your next project with just a single click. To get the most control over our counter, we will create it in a fusion composition. But don't worry, I will guide you through every step in the process so you don't get lost in the fusion page. To get things started, we will press shift space and search for a text plus node. Then we add it to our node graph and connect it to the media out node. In the next step, I will press right click on the text node and go to edit controls. I will change the name to counter and I will leave the type as number. For the page, I will scroll down a little bit and click on text. On the right side, I will click the check mark on the integer value and I will change the range from 0 to 1 million. For the input control, I want to have a slider control. Then click OK. Now you can see on the bottom of the text node our counter slider appeared. But our counter still isn't visible. So right click on the text box and go to expression. On the expression change this text to counter. It needs to be the same name as your slider. If you press enter, the zero shows up. And if we change the value of our counter slider, the text changes accordingly. But there's a few problems with this. I want to have comma separators and a dollar sign in front of it. If I would just add it here in the text box, it won't change anything and it will get deleted when I change the counter value. So I prepared a little code snippet, which you can copy and paste into your expression box. If you press enter, you can now see that there's a prefix, a postfix and a comma separator. If you edit this code in the, in the expression text box, you can, for example, change the postfix to something like views. If you press enter, the text updates and it will stay the same when you change the value. For my example, I don't want a postfix, so I will delete it, but I want to have my prefix displayed as a dollar sign. So let's change it to a dollar, press enter and it updated. And if I change the counter, everything works as intended. In the next step, we will animate our counter. Make sure your text node is still selected and move the playhead in the timeline to the frame where you want your counter to start increasing. I will put it at frame 6. Then, on the counter slider, press the keyframing icon and move the slider to the start. Then, place your playhead at the frame you want your counter to be at the highest value for me it's frame 90, and increase the counter to its highest value. If you play back our clip now, the counter increases. But in some cases, you don't want your counter to increase linear. So click this spline icon on the top, then, then click on this counter checkbox to make all your keyframes visible. Then you can mark them and press S. S moves out your spline curve. So if you play it back, you can see at the start and at the end, the counter increases a little bit slow. But what I want to do is to make it increase exponentially. So I will mark the first keyframe and press T to show our ease in and ease out values. And then I will increase the ease out value to 100. Then I will select the second keyframe and make my ease in value a little bit smaller to about 50. And if we play back our animation now, our counter starts increasing faster and faster until it reaches the 1 million. Another thing you could do with your counter is to invert it. So it goes from $1 million to $0. Go to your first keyframe and change the value to 1 million. Then move to your second keyframe and change the counter to 0. Now you can adjust your ease in and ease out values as you like and play back your animation and your counter will decrease. But filmic footprints, how can I pause the counter at a specific value and then move on later in the timeline? You can just set two more keyframes at your given values. I will place mine on 712,000. Then move a little bit further. 
place another keyframe and change it to the same number. Now I just have to select both of these keyframes and make it linear. And if I play with my animation, my counter stops at 712,113 for a few frames and then moves on to decrease to zero. To make it stay on that number even longer, you can select all your keyframes behind, hold down shift and move your keyframes further down in the timeline. If you play it back now, it looks like this. Now I want my counter to look even better. So I close down the spline again and add a few nodes. I will add a background node and a merge node. I will change the background input of my multi-merge node to my background. So let's disconnect the text node and drag in the background onto the yellow triangle. Then you can connect the text node again. Also, I want my text to be glowing. So I press shift space and add a soft glow node. If you hold down shift while you drag your node, you can drag it between two other nodes and you can just drop it there. And as you can see, the text started glowing. But I think this is way too much gain. So let's decrease it a little bit. Now I want my background to be a dark gray like this and my text to be yellow like this. I can even increase the size a little bit and change the font to Montserrat. If you play back the counter, you can see it moves around a lot. So let's change that and select the left edge anchor on the text node. Now we have to move it to the middle again, but if we play it back, the number increases more smoothly. Another thing I want to add is a drop shadow. So press shift space again and type in drop shadow. Add it to a node tree and increase the blur a little bit, change the drop angle and turn down the strength. If you want to save this effect, you could either select all of these nodes and right click, macro, create macro, or the easier method would be to navigate to the edit page and access these power bins on the left and just drag and drop your fusion composition in here. You can rename it and in your next project, you could just drag and drop it into your timeline. This way, I've already created many motion graphic templates, for example, this line graph, which I show you in this tutorial.